Hello students and friends. Today in this homeopathic materia medical lesson, I will discuss about homeopathic medicine orum muriaticum. Before start this video please subscribe to this channel. We need support from you to make this channel more beautiful. Orum muriaticum. This remedy exercises a profound action upon the mind and body. The patients suffering from latent syphilis are oversensitive to it, and often require it in their complaints. It has many bone symptoms and pains and they are worse at night. Its catarrhal condition is very much like that found in old cases of syphilis, such as had long treatment with mercury and iodides it is a rheumatic constitution also and is useful in acute and chronic rheumatism. It has cured rheumatic fever where the joints have been mostly affected but are now better and the heart is the principal seat of suffering. Many complaints are associated with cardiac disease. Drop cycle states from heart disease, from liver affections, with albumin in the urine after scarlet fever or with intermittent fever. Where old syphilitics continue to lose flesh. The glands and parts inflamed become indurated. It has been useful in cancerous glands. Inflammation of the bone and periosteum, caries, exostoses after mercury in latent syphilis. Caries of the joints with nightly boring and gnawing pains. It has burning pains in many parts. The pains are tearing, drawing, pressing, and stitching. Many symptoms come on during rest and some during motion. Cold, wet weather ameliorates. Warm air, warm bed, warm room, warm wraps, becoming warm even in open air, and warmth in general aggravates the general feeling. Exertion and walking increase many symptoms. The palpitation, suffocation and great weakness come from walking and exertion. While open air ameliorates he is even in the open air incapable of exertion. Fast walking is impossible. The nervous symptoms are very marked. Excitement, sensitive to noise, starting when spoken to, starting in sleep. When the above symptoms are concomitants of heart and liver diseases this remedy will most likely be useful. Fullness of the veins all over the body is a strong feature of this remedy. It is a most useful remedy in patients suffering from the chronic effects of gonorrhoea and syphilis, where fig warts and syphilitic ulceration are present together. The mental symptoms are largely such as are found in Orem. It has the same suicidal disposition. His mind dwells upon his broken health until he becomes low-spirited and desires death. He loathes his life. Weeping and aversion to his occupation. Indolence. The melancholia of old syphilitics. Extremely anxious with palpitation. Said to be full of whims and notions. Extremely irritable. Nothing can be done to please him. Constant fretting. Extreme mental and physical restlessness. He walks the street slowly, to be in the open air which ameliorates, he is much worse in the house, and in the warm room. Thinking about his complaint caused the heart to beat strong and fast. Symptoms worse after fright, vexation, and mortification. When the general symptoms mentioned above strongly predominate it will cure the particulars in the various parts below. It cures violent syphilitic headaches with vertigo. Violent left-sided headaches. Intense ache in forehead. Burning in occiput. Cerebral congestion. Pulsating in the head. Pain ameliorated by cold application. His forehead is hot. Heat of the head and cold extremities. Great soreness of the periosteum and exostoses of the skull. Tearing pains in the skull. Worse nights. It cures chronic eye troubles due to syphilis. The mucous membrane of the lids and ball is red, thickened and very vascular. The lids stick together in the morning. Dim vision in the evening by artificial light. Loss of vision after syphilis, and after scarlet fever. Very slow accommodation. Amorosis, chronic inflammation of margin of lids. Burning pain in the eyes. Buzzing, ringing and roaring in the cars followed by deafness. A sensation as if the ears were wide open. Music relieves the ear symptoms. Eczema behind the ears. Burning and itching behind the ears at night. It is one of the most useful remedies for catarrh of the nose in patients who are sensitive to the warm room. 
It classes with pulsatilla and Kali sulfuricum, as both of these are better in the open air. The discharges of the remedy are thin or thick like pus, very offensive and sometimes bloody, and there are many hard crusts in the nose. Bleeding of the nose on blowing out of the crusts. Yellow, greenish discharge. It cures the most stubborn syphilitic catarrh. The nasal bones become sensitive to pressure. Caries of the bones of the nose. Red, swollen nose. Deep cracks about the wings of the nose. Lupus of the wings of the nose. Infants with inherited syphilis with snuffles and indented nose. The circumscribed red face with pallor of face and neck in heart complaint, palpitation on slight exertion, pressure behind the sternum when walking, suffocates in a close room, wants cool air, ameliorated by gentle motion and we have a combination that this remedy often cures. The pale face with red spot on each cheek is not that which is found in consumption, but in heart complaint. The infant's face looks old. Acne on the face. There is often a red, healthy look on the face of very sickly people. Red faced from venous stasis, it is a false plethora, like that described in Orem. Caries of the lower jaw like phosphorus and exostoses of right cheekbone. Burning and swelling of the lips. Indurated lips. Cancerous ulcer of the lips. Painful swelling of the submaxillary gland. It has been useful in cancer of the tongue. Inflammation of the tongue followed by induration. Dry, red, excoriated tongue. Warts on the tongue. Metallic taste and salivation. Pains in the throat and ulceration. Ulceration of the tonsils. Inflammation with dryness in throat. The stomach is very weak and digestion is slow. Nausea, distension, and diarrhea after eating. Coffee, tea, and wine disagree. Eructations putrid. Nausea in the morning, better after breakfast. Vomiting of green fluid. Gastritis, cramps in stomach. Sharp pains in the stomach with burning, intense thirst. Enlargement of liver and spleen. Chronic inflammation of the liver. The liver is large and hard. Burning in the liver. Tight feeling in the region of the liver. Liver troubles associated with heart disease with albumin in the urine and dropsy of the limbs. Abdominal dropsy. Drawing pains and distension from gases. Great tenderness of abdomen. Frequent fluid stools, grayish, white, bileless. Diarrhea with liver affection, or with Bright's disease. Diarrhea worse at night. Hemorrhoids with bleeding at stool. A heavy ring of warts around the anus with copious moisture. Marked excoriation around the anus. It has cured fistula in anno. Fig warts of the anus with ulceration. Frequent urination day and night, but worse during the night. Urine dribbles. Increased flow of urine. Urine turbid, reddish sediment. Gonorrhoe in old syphilitic subjects where they have been badly treated. Shanker on the prepuce and scrotum. Fig warts on the penis, scrotum, or anus. Buobo in left groin. Surcease sexual desire. Induration of testes. Enlargement and great hardness of uterus. Indurated cervix. Chronic inflammation of uterus and ovaries. Menses frequent and profuse, flow excoriating. Lucaro e copious, yellow. Uterus prolapsed and heavy. Inflammation of vagina and labia. Gonorrho e and swelling of glands in the groin. Heat, burning, and itching of the vagina and labia. Suffocation in a warm room, from the clothing, from ascending stairs and from walking fast. Dyspnoea at night. Dry paroxysmal cough at night. Heart cough. Loose cough with thick yellow expectoration. Most distressing pressure under the sternum as if it would burst on walking fast, ascending steps or on any exertion, with palpitation. Palpitation on exertion and from excitement. Palpitation if suddenly spoken to. Sharp pains in the chest, going from place to place. Pain in the heart. Drawing and cutting in the heart. Violent pressure in the region of the heart cardiac anguish. Angina pectoris. 
endocarditis. Enlarged right side of the heart. The palpitation keeps her from sleeping. Rheumatic heart palpitation from mental exertion. Pulse small, weak, and fast. The heart is feeble. Pulsation strong in neck and temples. Violent, irregular heart. Trembling of the hands in the morning. Shocks in the arms. Burning, shooting pains in the forearms. Drawing in the shoulders. Worse in the warm bed and during rest. Tearing pains in the shoulders. Stiffness of arms and fingers. Drop cycle swelling of the lower limbs. Exostosis on the tibia. Periostitis of the labia. Extreme sensitiveness of the tibia. Pain in leg at night. Burning feet. Pain in feet worse from warmth and motion. Cutting in the toes when walking. Burning, redness, and swelling of the toes. Limbs cold and covered with a cold sweat. Drawing, tearing in all the limbs. Venous engorgement of the lower limbs. Sleeplessness from palpitation and from excitement, wakes with a start. Violent dreams, tormenting dreams of sadness. Thanks for watching this video. For more updates please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon. To learn homeopathy course online. Thank you. Have a nice day.